Now, to find that spear. Ooh. Well, that wasn't hard to find. Damn. <laughs> Looks like one little detail got missed in the trapper's legend of the that old bear. That is massive. The spear didn't survive the fight. Well, that's shit, isn't it? And he also put his light Somebody out to talk about that. In that old machine shed. Ah, that's what we have to do it for then. I've got to fix the spear. Oh. Apparently I can't answer it. Maybe if it rings again. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff here though. Oh, this place has got a basement. Hey! Was he examining that and I couldn't see? So what happens when you put my light out and I'm trying to look at stuff? Oh my god. This gear's starting to slow me down. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? I'll saw it out when I get back upstairs. Let's see what this torch is like. It does have charge. Oh, wow! It's like a horror game. Right, I think I'm ready to head back out. So I need to head back to the workshop I was just in. Oh! It's got super bright mode. Maybe you can scare wolves away with that. Oh no. It's another night at Borealis. I'm sleeping through this. Fuck this. There we go. Morning. However, that sounds like a storm. I almost don't want to go out in the storm again, but I, I know I'm not going too far. And I'm on full everything, so... Let's go. So all I need to do now is make it back to... That was a different door. Is make it back to that warehouse. Yeah, so I need to get back around here, across the bridge, over to there. Before I freeze to death, which I'm already doing at a rapid rate. Jesus, I always forget how quickly you die from the cold. During the... during a blizzard. It's not too far to go though, should be okay. Right, I'm nearly at the bridge now, nearly at the bridge. Here we go. It's not too far from across this bridge now. I should be able to make it back in time. You know, before I turn into a popsicle. A McKensicle. He can actually survive outside for quite a long time before he dies of hypothermia. So, I should be able to make it to this place. Yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Damn. Freezing. Yeah, yeah, I'm nearly there, nearly there. We got this, bro, don't worry. It's right here. Although I don't think I can get into this door here. No, I can't. Hmm. <sighs> there we go. So this is what I need to be doing. What do I have? Chance of success for a fire. Right. So let's get this going. That should do it. Seven minutes. Let's do this. Ah. Oh, it's infinite fire. That's cool. <laughs> I, I started this with a stick, and now it's infinite. I need two scrap metal. Guess I can add blacksmith to my growing list of skills. Nice. Let's hope I don't have to put this spear to the test. Now let's hope you do. Content. Get back to Jeremiah. Wow, okay, that was it. Okay, I think I need to head back now then. What time am I on? Let's probably get back. 
I know the way, sort of. As long as nothing bad happens to me on the way. I do have a cachet to go get, actually, don't I? A cachet of goodies. Where's that? Um, directly behind where I'm facing now. So... That way. Uh, looks like it's on the outside of the fence. It says it's around here. Oh yeah. I've been looking for you. Mm. That'll come Matches, in handy. Matches, accelerant. Oh, a lot of wood. Cool. Probably a bit over encumbered now, but fire logs will be useful for when I need to stop. Now the question is, how am I getting? Oh, a dead wolf. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Nope. Yeah, how am I getting back? Because I fell off a cliff, didn't I? Do you reckon Methuselah will still be here? Sat by his campfire looking suspicious. Get my gun out ready for him. No, he is gone. I'm telling you, he's the enemy. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't... Oh, maybe I can just climb over. Whereabouts am I in the thing? It didn't push me very far, did it? Do I just go down the other side? That was easy. Yeah, it barely pushed me anywhere. What do I didn't come finish the job? Alright, time to make a uh, headway, make a sprint all the way back. So far it's been a very uneventful walk back. A little bit concerned that something is going to go wrong. What if I can get the spear out? Oh, I can! Oh, you have to set it, so you got to prep for a charge. So I guess at any point now the bear can attack me, so I need the spear to cause it problems. Oh, that's interesting. No way I can actually hold the spear. This is a really long walk back. It's getting knackered as well. It's the middle of the fucking day, dude. Come on. A little hut over there. I wonder if there's anything in it. Seems strange that they would put one of these out here without there being something interesting over by it. Or I'm just wasting time. I seem to be careful crossing the ice because it did say it was going to break earlier. I'd rather not drown in cold water. Firewood. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, I don't need the firewood for now. I've got those two fire logs that I found earlier. Well, it wasn't entirely worth it, but it was fine. Right, let's risk this. Come on! Oh, I made an error. I made an error. Yeah, okay everyone. That was silly of me. I wonder what time of day it is in this game. I might sleep a little bit, seeing as I've uh, got the opportunity to warm up here. Um, snow shelter. Wait, did I not pack my bedroll up last time I used it? Okay, apparently I made a bit of an error. 15 sticks and 5 cloth and you can make a snow shelter. Right, let's get moving. Okay. So the way the ice breaks is that you're on it for a certain amount of time and then it um, builds up and then eventually it cracks. So you just need to make sure that you don't stay on the ice too long. So I could probably make it across the rail line if I take this gap and then the next gap. Okay, and then over here. Oh, I should have slept longer. The problem with this place here is that there's no shelter. Is that a wolf? Yes, it is. Once again, Wolf. 
come close and I will kill you. You have your final warning. Come near and you die. Uh, wasn't actually expecting us to have to kill this many wolves this session. But I think that's why they gave me the gun. Because uh, they're getting a lot more aggressive. Oh, I'm going to need to sleep somewhere. I can't believe I left my bloody bedroll behind. Oh, now he's freezing to death as well. Can I harvest sticks from this? Seven sticks. Okay. And if I can find one more bush, I may be able to make a snow shelter. That sounds like another wolf. It is. It's right ahead of me. I need one more bush, I think. Can't feel my feet. Right, I get it, you bloody asshole. Five cloth and fifteen sticks. How many sticks have I got? Fourteen. And I also don't have enough cloth. Alright. Right. How much cloth have I got now? I think you're fine over there. Um how much cloth do I actually have now then? Three. I also need one more stick. Like this is pointless unless I can find another stick. I also don't can't make another fire, so. Looks like there might be some stuff over there. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back to the fire in a sec. Here we are. This is a very bad situation to be in right now. Oh, the Borealis is starting up again as well. Shit. I'm so cold and warm up again. I'm so tired now I can't sprint. Right, I need to just break apart some clothes. You could just lay down and have a little sleep right here. No, 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 not yet. I don't know how long I can do this. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to rip apart my clothes just to survive. Oh, needs must, I guess. Alright, and now I should be able to make a snow shelter. Yes. 45 minutes. Alright, I might have enough, just enough time to do this. Can I sleep here? Is there a way to just choose to sleep? Oh, I can rest. Yes. Hopefully the wolf won't come from while I'm sleeping. Or I'll die of hypothermia because my fire will have gone out. Hey, I actually survived the night. For once, I didn't die. That wolf has been there all night. Good doggy. Good doggy. Right, I'm in a much better position now. I can actually make it back alive. I am actually really proud of that save there. Being able to um, figure out that I can build a shelter to snow shelter and sleep in that. That was really cool. Because this long walk is taking a while. I should really do the long walk off stream. Frostbite affliction. Oh, I don't have gloves on. I've ripped them apart. Shit. <laughs> oh, there's so many issues. So I had to take my gloves off in order to rip them apart to make cloth for the shelter. Uh, because I've done that, I now don't have... Um... Oh, no. What's wrong with it? Ah, not feeling so cocky now, huh? And all it took was for me to go full on Grizzly Adams. I'd better get out of here before he comes back.
I... What was it scared of? The fact that I've got the spear out. I actually can't remember what I was saying before that bear turned up, so I apologise. That was a thought that will never go anywhere. You'll never get to the rest of it. You know what? So is the way of the world. Oh my god, leave me alone! Wolf, we have no beef together, you and I. Is he still following me? Go away. I really do. I need to find some new gloves at some point, though. As soon as I ripped apart my other gloves. It was necessary, but it's not good wandering around in the wilderness with nothing in your hands. I think I've only got one layer of trousers on as well, haven't I? What else do I take apart? Hands and socks. At least I've got shoes on for my feet. I'm seeing deer everywhere now. Shame I can't get super close up. I can use it as a thumbnail. Let's see how close I can get before it runs away. Not very, not close at all. There he is. <laughs> get the spear out ready. Well, it's been a long road. Two and a half hours it took to get to that building and back. We had a lot of excitement along the way. But here we are, ready to show Methuselah, Matthias. Why did I begin with M? Matthias, Mackenzie, Methuselah, Grey, Mother, Mastered, ready to show him the spear. Did you find it? The legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Yeah. The bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music, talking. I think it needs more range, more powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, we might be able to get a message out. Let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. <laughs> Looked like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! Now that he's healed, he just the sounds like Solid Snake. series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that it serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those. Two. <laughs> might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Hmm. Maybe he has... But it's a magic a Bear. Genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But... There's definitely a Bear out there. And he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cab. Damn it! <laughs> you think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! <sighs> Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. 
And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way. And I'd really kind of like to find her back. <laughs> Don't forget about the wolves. <laughs> Let's get on with it. I don't think I'm ever going to get to kill this bear. I think it's just a, a looming threat in the wilderness. Although it sounds like now it's going to be approaching and I need to use the spear to make sure it doesn't get to me. But yeah. Well, that was a very long amount of time for a very short mission. We killed a lot of wolves along the way. We got electrocuted. We fell on the ice. We nearly died to, like, we nearly froze to death again. So, uh, yeah, successful time. Also, that you can do whatever you want to do. All I want to do is find Astrid. I need some gloves as well. Maybe I'll put some spare gloves in here. I suppose we're hot in there. Ah, well. Guess finding some more gloves will be a job for next time. <laughs>